And the chairman of the Nigerian Governors Forum, Coyote Fayemi, has stressed the need for a system that is localized and knowledgeable about the country's culture and its security situation. Governor Fayemi said the, if the federal government must tackle the security challenges confronting the country, it must be prepared to declare bandits, terrorists and kidnappers as criminals regardless of their geographical indication. Former Senate President Adolphus Wabara opined that the federal government must decentralize the nation's security apparatus by deploying the constitutional approach of a federal character. If we want to tackle this problem, then we must be prepared to see these people as criminals, regardless of where they come from, and allow the law to effectively deal with them. We are under police as a country. We don't come anywhere near the United Nations ratio of 1 to 400. It's not easy to declare a state of emergency. The last one was unfortunately declared by me when I was Senate President on club and I know and I know the consequences of such of such a declaration. Rather than adopting the knee-jerk approach in tackling the myriads of security problems facing the country currently, the government at the center needs to look deep down and design solutions. We are living on moral time. Because the problem we have today will be judging with what is coming. Look what has been our access to this education we are talking about. But these are the best things that they are having and they are trying to make it. If they decide to turn, rather than look for a winner class or somewhere, they decide to turn against us, it will be sorry for ourselves. While suggesting a way forward, the Speaker stressed the need to amend the Constitution to empower the various security agencies to be able to respond to the current challenges. But without justice and equity, it will be difficult to foster national unity. Without justice and equity, we will be driving at the Orwellian kind of society, if not the state of nature, where some animals, I repeat, animals, will be more equal than others. It's time we started a new conversation about our national development, peace and prosperity. And we need an elite consensus on what the minimum irreducible compact is, an acceptable standard of public conduct. Taking due cognizance that peace can only come on the platter of fairness and justice. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.